Mark. Are you my grand? Babylon has by far the largest number of actors that I've ever dressed on a film. There are 7,000 costumes in this movie. Between background and 150 speaking parts. And principal cast members had about 15 changes. The hope is to demolish the expectations of a period piece, and especially of a movie about old Hollywood. Action! A lot of it was inspired by research, because the challenge was always find some inspiration that's from the 20s that doesn't look like your typical 20s. We talked a lot about how the characters largely define themselves through what they're wearing, especially people like Nellie Leroy. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Nellie comes from nothing, and if we could see that in a costume, then great. Honey, you don't become a star. You either are one or you ain't. Nellie's first outfit for this Hollywood party. My thought was that it was something that she could have cobbled together herself, like tap pants and a scarf that she put around the waist. And she's thinking, it covers what I need to cover, but it shows everything that I want to show. Ah! She knows this is her chance to get discovered. And she does. Jack Conrad. This is Estelle. His fiance. Jack Conrad is her the Uber movie star. Sound is how we redefine the form. My pitch for Jack was that he's such a big movie star that he's just not formal. Oh my god, oh, JC! He wears a tuxedo to the parties, but other than that, we don't see him in a suit. We hand knit all of his sweaters, we built all of his clothes, like head to toe, everything. And he looks fantastic. Time to go make a movie. Manny, he wants to do anything related to movies. He's finally working for a big producer. When he starts assisting Jack, he has one sport coat until he gets successful. And then he's in this beautiful three-piece suit. Let's go! Day two! It's imperative for me that the wardrobe is perfect because you put it on, and if it's done right, you are the character. Got a Mia. Jack, every single thing that my character wears is beautiful. The colors, the story behind the fabric. She has the best wardrobe in this film. Billy! Good costumes always help. It makes you move differently. It makes you feel differently about your character. Oh, why do I bother? The costumes were quite outrageous because we wanted it to be unlike anything we'd ever seen on film before. Mary, she had a sense of exactly what was needed from the first moment she read the script. She saw a challenge that was exciting. And she nailed it.